In today's video, we'll go through Discara CRM. Starting off, we have the dashboard. On the dashboard screen, you have contacts, deals by pipeline. You could even switch between pipelines to get a view of how your sales pipeline looks like. Deals won and lost, and a couple other metrics that are useful to view your business from a high level. On the accounts tab, you have the different accounts in your sales pipeline. You could add a new account here, name, email, phone number, associate an owner, and any custom fields that you have depending on your sales process. Once you click on save, it's going to show up here and you could filter by the owner. You can also switch from a grid-based layout to a spreadsheet-based layout if that's what you prefer. On the contacts tab, this is very similar to Discara Books. You could add a new contact. These are the default fields. Give it a label, give it an owner, associate an account, and any custom fields that are specific to your sales process. Once you save, you could filter the contacts by any field that you define, and you could also show or hide the different columns depending on how you want your layout to look like. If you have an existing set of contacts from a spreadsheet anywhere, you could import the contacts using the button here, or you could export the contacts into an Excel file. On the segments tab, if you have different marketing segments, sales segments, however you want to segment your different contacts, you could do that here. You create a new segment by clicking on new segment, giving it a name, giving it a color, so it shows up in the label here. You can also click the plus icon to make it really simple. As with contacts, you could, seg you could filter different contacts here, and you could also show or hide the columns to have your view really customized. Moving on to deals, deals is the majority of what people think of as a CRM. Here you have the different deal stages. You could add a new deal stage by clicking on the add stage, giving it a name. I'll show up here. You could add as many pipelines as you want. So here we have two, and you could switch between the pipelines really easily. You can see there's a grid-based layout, so you can move the cards freely around, depending on where you want the stages to be at. And you could click on the deals to view the different fields associated with the deal. And you could see the linked contact and any notes or attachments. Now, if you have an estimate, if you have a sales estimate or a sales order, you could also track that from within this interface by clicking on here. And once you have an estimate, it's going to show up here. Moving on to activities. If you have an existing calendar, you could link the calendar, link the calendar to this CRM. If you have any activities, if you want to create new ones, you could just click on the date, add a name, give it a link, and then any notes and any custom fields that you want to associate with that activity. The activity screen also shows you what today's activities are, what you have for the future, and all the list of completed activities that you have done in the past. You could also see activities by owners. You could hide or show the list view, and you could see it in a spreadsheet form if that's what you desire. Moving on to estimates, you could create new estimates from within the CRM interface. And this is very similar again to books. If you have used books, click on new estimate, add a customer contact, add an item and once you click on save it's going to show up here and it is linked to your deal so once you click on a deal you'll be able to see what invoices and what quotes that you have sent over to the customer look like and you could convert an estimate to an invoice by clicking on the convert to invoice and you could design your estimates depending on how you want them to look like and of course you could email the estimate out to the customer from within the crm the invoices screen, you could see the fulfillment status, the payment status from within the CRM interface. So if you are running an accounting team, if you're running a sales team, the sales team does not need to have access to the accounting platform to see if the order has been fulfilled or the payment status is pending. So this saves time for both the accounting and the sales teams. You could create a new invoice here. It will take you to Discara's books interface. And once you add a contact, add a product, define the price, it's gonna be synced to the CRM interface here. Of course, you can filter the invoices depending on what metric you want, you know, due date, fulfillment, payment, or document type. You can also see a high-level overview of the customers who have paid and not paid, so you could take the necessary actions. Last up, we have automations. On the automation screen, you could define custom automations for your sales workflow. So for example, if a contact is added, you could define a set of actions. You could send them an email, Onboarding email, we have a few templates, but you could also use the template, any templates that you have. Once you click on save, these automations are gonna trigger for each of the action triggers that you have defined. So that is a brief overview of Discara CRM. If you'd like to know more about Discara, visit discara.com.